Hey guys, we just got done riding KTM's 2020 890 Duke R. This is KTM's new premium middleweight powered naked bike. For 2020, KTM's done a bunch of great modifications to this platform. Let's begin with the powertrain. KTM's boosted the board stroke of this engine. Now it displaces 890cc. It's still a parallel twin, still dual overhead cam, eight valve cylinder heads, but man, this engine really gets with the program. It has so much more power and torque. And not only that, it's just so much more smooth. KTM also fitted a significantly heavier crankshaft. And what that does is it gives the engine just more solid response. It just has more acceleration. It feels more sturdy. It has less vibration. And it's just a lot more refined and playful engine than before. Realistically, this is the engine configuration KTM should have originally released when they came up with its LC8C twin. I really like this engine. Chassis on this motorcycle, I was never a real big fan of the original 790 Duke, but the upgraded suspension components on this motorcycle, boy, they do a really nice job. I'm really just amazed at how hard you can ride this bike in the canyons. And this motorcycle just, it eats up the corners like a few other motorcycles I've ridden lately. It's just very, very fun. The chassis components give you a level of, of composure where you can ride this bike pretty hard without it having to worry about it biting you. It goes over the bumps fairly well. It still delivers a little bit more of a rough ride over the rough stuff than maybe a more comfortably sprung street bike would, but the, the payback is just the extreme handling prowess when you're, when you're carving turns left and right. The OE fitted Michelin Power Cup tires. These tires are awesome. I'm never a big fan of Michelin sport tires, but the tires on this motorcycle, they have insane amount of grip, good feel. You can ride this bike extremely, extremely hard without it biting you. Electronics package on this motorcycle, KTM has fitted its latest generation IMU powered motorcycle traction control. And the traction control on this bike is just awesome. Like you can ride the bike very, very, very hard. And when the traction control comes in, it comes in so seamlessly where you feel it, but it's not really taking things back or making the motorcycle any more cumbersome to ride. It, it makes for a very easy riding experience. I like how you can put it in track mode and you can actually adjust the traction control or the slip control factor between one and nine. I like kind of four as a sweet spot. Five kind of pulled the engine back a little bit too much and then three kind of gave it a little bit, you'd feel the barrier a little bit better with four, which I like when you're riding on the street, you want to have a little bit of a barrier between going fast and not going fast enough. But I like the ability to tune that. The ride-by-wire throttle, I like the ability to tune it based on the, where you're riding. There was street mode, a sport setting, the track, and then the rain setting. But the coolest thing about this bike is once you're in the track menu, you can actually configure the throttle response independently of the traction control, which is really neat to me. Brakes on this motorcycle are first class. It comes with Brembo's MCS radial master cylinder. And this master cylinder is so cool because you can actually adjust the lever ratio of the lever. So if you want a little bit more braking feel and, and have it be more responsive, you can actually slide it into the 21 millimeter position. And then conversely, if you want the brakes to be a little bit less sensitive when you, when you pull on the lever, you can go to the 19 millimeter setup. I prefer the 21 millimeter, it just gives really sharp response. The Brembo radial mount calipers have a good amount of power, great braking feel. We rode another brand leader class sport bike recently on this stretch of road and the brakes faded on that motorcycle. On this bike, the brakes do not fade. Obviously, you're going a little bit slower just because it has a little bit less power than a leader class sport bike, but still, this motorcycle gets some. With 407 pound curb weight, it's just unbelievably light. The suspension components, like I said, they do a really good job of giving you a good sporty ride, good feel in the corners. And if you're looking for just a top tier middleweight parallel twin powered bike, 
this KTM 890 Duke R is it. For only a $1,000 upcharge versus the 790 Duke, I don't know why anyone in the world would ever buy the 790 Duke. For $1,000, you can have this thing. It's faster, it's smoother, it handles better, it looks better. And uh, if you're just looking for a really fun, naked bike to ride, this 890 Duke R would be a top of my list. Well guys, that's a wrap from the 2020 KTM 890 Duke R review. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you thought it was cool. Leave us a comment. We always wanna see what your thoughts are on these videos and we wanna hear from you guys. Please check the link inside the description of this video for our 2020 motorcycle rider study. We wanna hear from you guys. Thanks for watching.